everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel, The Sims 2. Let's play Belladonna Cove. Or welcome to Sims 2. Let's play Belladonna Cove. This is the very first part, the introductions. Um, this is going to take a bit of time because this is one of the biggest towns in The Sims 2. Um, we have 13 families to play with. We're used to uh, playing around 8 to 9 households, even less than that. So these parts are going to be um, longer rounds. There's going to be tons to do. We have a lot of families to get through and yeah. Um, uh, so, I guess I'll start with introducing myself. Hi, I'm Whitey28, or also known as Danny or Danielle. Uh, I play Sims 2 videos and some Sims 4, but mostly Sims 2 because we all like to just go back in our time machines and enjoy nostalgia. That is what I bring to you, nostalgia. And, um, we have played through every single town in The Sims 2. This is the last town. So uh, get ready for season two after this one. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of, I think that's kind of all, all about me. I'm not very good with introducing myself, am I? Oh well, let's jump right into uh, introducing the townspeople. So I'm going to kind of go in the order that The Sims 2 story kind of uh, gave us and I may change it up as we play along um, to what makes the most sense because um, not all the households were introduced in the main storyline. So yeah, we're going to start with the Contender family. The Contender family, uh, very wealthy. We see we have a ton of wealthy, wealthy Sims in this, um, in this town. So um, money's not going to be a big issue. So we can actually focus on the drama and the relationships and things like that. I'm excited. So... Contender family. Carlos had a career that was the stuff of legends, but even more legendary were his romantic pursuits. Now that he's thinking about retirement, he's trying to focus on his niece Isabel and her family, but his romantic nature is still strong, and Belladonna Cove is filled with such interesting possibilities. Uh, so if we show, bam, he knows uh, the Cordial Sisters. Um, he has, he knows a ton of people. He knows the Patels, he knows, uh, the Cho, the Cho family, Riley family, the Green family, Peterson family, and then over here is where his, uh, niece Isabel lives with her family. So you can see all of this, uh, all these relationships very, very good. He is a single bachelor old man, um, he'll kind of be interesting to play, I think, just because he ha does have a ton of romantic things, and you will see... I believe he was the one that broke up a certain family that we're going to look at next. So now we shoot up over here to the Debatu family. They live in an apartment, so we got to click open their panel. And we don't even get to see their uh, their family portrait, sorry. Uh, so it's Armand de Debatu. When Jessica left him, Jessica Peterson, Armand spent a few months sulking and thinking about the sun and thinking the sun would never come out again, so dramatic. But when he adopted little Tara, she convinced him otherwise. He could not be more proud of his heir. Uh, so it is a single father and his adopted daughter, Tara, and she is going to be uh, the heir to his inheritance. And apparently they're the uh, richest family in the town. Um, yeah, so from that, we go straight over here to the Peterson family, who is our man's ex-wife, Jessica. She's now living in a trailer, in the trailer in the slums district, away from the hills, apparently this is the hills, to the slums. When Armand Debato, Deme Debato demanded an heir, Jessica knew it was time to leave. She just did not want to be tied down when Belladonna Cove was filled with so was so filled with romantic possibilities. Of course, when she left Armand, she also left his vast fortune and standing in society. Can she make her own way? Um, I don't know. And um, apparently... Our only relationship is with can, uh, with Carlos, because uh, the two of them are kind of interested in each other. Uh, sorry, and I didn't see what their relationships are. Apparently, we only know the Cordial Sisters, which is interesting. Maybe he's interested in them. I don't know. So that's three. Um, and I'll also go over the districts and stuff, because you can see this town is humongous. I'll stop making you dizzy. I'm sorry. Uh, the next family on my list is the Green family. Uh, they are roommates. Gabriel, who's this guy, has known Chastity since elementary school. Now that they are adults, they've moved to Belladonna Cove and become roommates. Gabriel is so busy to 
trying to learn everything there is to learn, he hasn't noticed that Chastity has become a bit of a wild woman. Will she try to use her wild ways on him? So he's kind of a bookie, and she's kind of this rebellious party raver wild child. Um, that'll be interesting to play. She looks like a rocker chick sort of thing. Um, I think they'll be very interesting to play. Definitely not like a family-oriented uh, household. So that'll be, again, interesting. Um, interesting is my word of choice. Uh, oh, sorry. And then, uh, let me click them. In their relationships, they know the Cordial Sisters, and they also know Carlos. Interesting. The Cordial Sisters. So apparently these two are kind of... Not mirrored off of, but they're similar to Angela and Lilith Pleasant, who they are our favorite twin sisters of all times. We all know this. So this is interesting. And these two have befriended witches, um, the good and evil witch. So we get to play a lot more with both types of magic. We have, um, we have done witchcraft in my other LPs, but this one we can focus a lot more because witchcraft came with apartment life. So we'll definitely uh, focus more on that than the other LPs. So Samantha and Kimberly had such bad sibling rivalry, they were asked to leave the pleasant little town in which they had grown. Realizing that things between them needed to change, they pursued a variety of self-help ventures. While trying to find new ways to bond with each other, they made some mysterious new friends. Will calling on the power of their newfound friends bind them closer together or pull them more apart? I don't know, but it sounds like they got kicked out for causing too much of a ruckus with everyone, which is funny to me. Uh, these are their relationships. They know the Greens, the Contenders, and uh, they also know the Debatos and the Rutherfords, who we will, we will see in a little bit. All right, I gotta find the I gotta find the households now. I don't remember where they are. I think Baldwin's up here. Yes. Okay. So the Baldwin. So um, I kind of touched on them earlier. Um, Isabel, her uncle is Carlos Contender. So Isabel and Benjamin have a great life together. Things are next to perfect right now. Will Isabel's uncle Carlos and his wild exploits bring shame to the family name? So they're not very happy that he's a bit of a Lothario. <laughs> um, and uh, he is their only relationship really right now. But they have two kids. They have Sophia, who's a child, and Marcus, a toddler, and Benjamin. Um, her husband. Wonderful. Next is the Rutherford family. So these guys um, are roommates and uh, living together, uh, I believe, so they could afford their lovely house up in the hills here. So Joff Rutherford knows all the right people, but he is a bit of a rebel. He and Connor wear, uh, I don't know who's who, sorry. Okay, Connor is the other guy. Um, Connor became roommates so they could afford a place in the best part of Belgian Cove. Yep, in the hills. But sometimes they're at odds. Connor wants the party days to end so he can find his true path and start the family of his dreams. Joff just wants to have fun. So very interesting. We know the Cleveland family, who we'll, um, we'll get to in a second. Cordials, uh, the Patels. And it looks like that's all. So they're a bit of, like, I guess we throw tons of parties often and things like that. And um, we may, I don't know, things are things are getting in the way. Um, the Riley family, which I believe is here. This is a huge, we got this apartment filled to the brim. So we'll start with the Riley family, who is Timothy and Sally. They are uh, another single father and daughter. So Timothy Riley moved to Belladonna Cove and wanted to start a new life and make a solid future for his daughter. Then he met Vivian Cho, and now he hopes they can join forces. He thinks Sally would enjoy having a little sister. Isn't that sweet? And we know, I think we only know um, <clears throat> the people in our building, so it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, and the next on my list is the Cho family. So Vivian Cho uh, finds being a single mother challenging. It's just her and her daughter Etsu, which is a very strange name. Work is demanding, and when she gets home, Etsu wants all of her attention. Vivian still wants to find true love again. She wonders if she can find time to spend uh, to spend time with that nice man down the hall. Um, but she also knows Carlos Contender, so that's going to be a bit of an interesting thing. Um, these uh, relationship bars are very handy. Next, Patels. I'm trying to get through this semi-fast, guys, so sorry. Um, they are a married, a newly married couple. 
They say women glow when they're pregnant, and Anna is no exception. She cannot wait for her new baby to arrive and is already dreaming about having more of them. Ramir hopes his heir will want to follow him into politics. Uh, so she is pregnant. They, she's a bit of a family sim, so she wants a nice big family, and he is in politics. Uh, they know the Carlos, they know Carlos, and they also know the Rutherford household. Very nice. They will be fun to play. They remind me of the Ramaswamy um, family, which I loved them. Oh my gosh. All right. Next is the Cleveland family, and this is the last of the um, the families that were uh, in this town. Uh, Jason and Martha lead a very comfortable life. They wonder a bit about whether Justin's friend Tara DeBato is distracting him from his schoolwork, though, and about Uncle Joff squandering the family funds. Uncle Joff. I think that's the Rutherford guy. Uh, after all, a privileged status should never be taken for granted. Oh, okay, so they're relatives. Uh, but they also know Tara DeBato. I don't know why we don't have a relationship thing to them, but whatever. Okay, so then the final two families were ones that were from the family Ben. It is the Gavigan family. Uh, uprooting and moving to a new town was something that Nathan has always wanted to do. Mary loves him dearly and would follow him to the ends of the earth. Where will they end up? Will they be able to find happiness in a new location? Um, so they're kind of... <laughs> um, I think they're going to be a very interesting family. Nathan is kind of a um, selfish and... Um, not a very ethical kind of person and Mary um she's quite bitter um she's holding in resentment a little bit I'll, I'll get more into it when we play the household but they have little Isaiah who's a cutie pie to the nines and then the last family which is going to be very very interesting and difficult to play is the Newson family this is the family where they are all adopted children and there is no adult they are all teens and children and toddlers so after their parents' untimely death, the adopted Newson clan is faced with the reality of separation and a return to foster care, or weathering the unknown future together. With no parents to guide or protect them, can the Newsons continue to provide each other the safety and security their adopted parents provided? Um, so this one, it's going to be like the Ottomans family, but even worse, because we don't have parents, I am... Um, I really don't know how they're going to go, but I'm excited to play them. Uh, it's going to be very interesting indeed. Yeah. Poor things. That's so sad, but so strong. They're so strong. Reminds me of, I don't know if you guys read The Boxcar Children. The Boxcar Children was my jam when I was a child. Best books. Best books. Um, but there was only four of them. So anyways, very quickly to kind of wrap up this intro, you can see that the town is um, pretty divided into t district type areas. This is a very large town. So we'll start at the top. Uh, this is the hills. Uh, it's kind of like Beverly Hills or um, it's the wealthy, wealthy district. This is where all the expensive houses are. You can see this one has a freaking helicopter landing pad. Uh, and then there's this techie area where we got like a fair market and um, I don't know what Freya's raiments are. I think it's a, I don't know, they're stores, but anyways. So we got the uh, hot, wealthy district, the techie district. You come down this way. This is the slums where uh, the trailer park is and we got um, like uh, uh, desperate, desperate deals, clothing store, Swift and Thrift Mini Mart, and a coffee shop, which is very, very cool. I'm excited to try to look at that place. We have kind of a more family um, suburb type area right next door. That is this whole area. This is where um, most of the families live in this kind of middle ground. Um, we also have uh, parks. We've got Central Park East, Central Park, Central Park Pavilion, Central Park West, uh, which apparently is very similar to New York City, uh, which is really, really cool. And then we have kind of the, again, more um, high middle class area. Um, there's also a iron clothing apparel, um, which I guess is better clothing. Um, there's a public library here. I put in the pet store. There's a Cove Art Museum right next door. 
and um, also this game send crown grounds. I don't know what that is about. Um, but yeah, that's mostly that is mostly the town. There's a couple other like smaller uh, houses up for sale, but I did want to spend most uh, or have most of our families in apartments because we haven't really explored apartments a lot uh, ever. Uh, and this is the apartment life town. So that is the town. That is all the families. Um, pretty much in the order, I think we're going to have um yeah if you guys are excited for this lp please do give this video a big fat thumbs up share it put it out blah 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 uh i'm gonna try and do pre-recording of the first part uh introductions of all the households and then around two i uh i'm very excited for so i love you guys so very much i will see you in my next video bye guys we were the things that they